G'day, g'day, and welcome back to my channel, Australian Guy Films. Today I have something kind of unusual for you. I was wandering the docks in Sausalito, and I came across Argo. This is an MOD-70 racing trimaran. It's one of the elite yachts in the world today, and today it's about to set off on the CA-500 race from San Francisco to San Diego, and I was lucky enough to be invited on board by the owner and the skipper to have a quick look around. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> well, this isn't sailing, it's more flying, isn't it? Well, I just watch these guys do stuff and then they yell at me. All right, if you want there's some grinding. Yeah, I guess if you guys want to grind back there, I'll just fuck, fuck you around all the shit. Oh, well, you've come over. Yeah, yeah, it's an opportune moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> nicely timed, bro. Pit. Pit, I'm Westy, man. Westy, good to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your role here? Um, I'm the bowman. Okay. Yeah. General. Get cleaner. wet and go cleaner. into the nastiness. Cleaner, you could say. Yeah, yeah. Some people call me the chick kicker. But there is one advantage, yeah? What is that? You get there first. Always the first one there. No, it doesn't mind that high, it doesn't. Little test. Fortunately, I had a camera in my hand so I couldn't help them with the grinders, but these grinders are the reason that the sailors aboard these boats are athletes. These men and women are absolutely phenomenally strong, uh, have stamina like a mule, and strength like a draft horse. Since all of the sails are folded up and put in bags at the end of each use, uh, as they go back up, they have kinks and uh, faults in the furling, so they spend quite a bit of time making sure that they're refurled and tight and ready to go back up at a moment's notice. Given the opportunity to come on board and have a look around with the camera, I did want to try and get as close as I could, but uh, without hindering the operations of what they're doing. Uh, but as you can see, it is very physical, and there is a good chance of getting somebody's elbow in the face when you're using these meat grinders. So watching these guys prepare the boat was quite interesting. Every single line, every single sail is checked and rechecked as they prepare the boat for today's race. And since I was invited to have a look at the boat, I decided to have a look at the whole boat and that included going for a look downstairs to see what these boats look like down below. How's the weather look? First three quarters looks great. The last hundred and some miles look tragically bad. Well, this is uh, 60 miles from the finish line at four knots right now. Oh, that kind of tragically bad. Yeah, but okay. 100 miles out, we still have 18. What kind of speed would you look at it that? 22. 120% or so on speed. I come off a 41 Formosa catch. <laughs> and I'd be doing seven knots there no matter what. <laughs> Definitely a different beast. Hey, sorry, Artie, good to meet you. Artie, you're the navigator, I take it? I am. Do you ever get to go upstairs? See oh, what's yeah, happening? completely. <laughs> yeah, we have a little wireless tablet somewhere here. And I can take that on deck and do most of the work, but it's always easier to do the big work down here. How loud does it get down here? Oh, it yeah. There's not much to it. Yeah, but you know, each of these bulkheads cost more than my entire boat. <laughs> very likely. <laughs> very, very likely. It'd be nice to get going on the course. 
We'll yeah, but get and, out a little bit, get exactly. out a little bit and get some fresh, get clean breeze and, oh my God. Exactly, that's the goal. Thank you. No problem. The chef. The chef. Yep. What a hell of a galley. That's nice, huh? It's all you need. So today the Argo was preparing for the CA 500 race, which was from San Francisco down to San Diego. And I believe they go out via the Farallons and then they have a turning mark down by San Diego and then coming in. I did read this morning on the news that the Maserati, one of the opposing yachts, had a bit of a problem and they're lagging behind. What's your name? Pitt. Pitt? Yeah. Anthony, how are you? What Good are you up to? Good to meet you, man. Just cruising around, living life, man. Oh, yeah? I so travel. Are you a racer too? No, I, I was a, when I was a kid I was, um, no, I was a cruiser for the last few years, oh, yeah, 41 for us to catch, I, uh, grew the up exact as, opposite. That's okay, I grew up as a kid on a cruising boat, like okay. a liverboard, homeschooled. That's why you're here now. Yeah, I love it, Yeah, it's probably the best part of my life. For sure. Hi. Another boat that I coach, and uh, that seems to be a very good device. Wow, these sails are incredible. So, watching them prepare this boat for the race, I felt like the luckiest man in the world. Uh, I didn't want to get in the way, I unfortunately didn't have time to talk to the guys as much as I would have liked, but uh, they were very welcoming, and I hope they did very well in the race. The new thing, so all these still have cables in them, like, uh, they, they, all, they all have their own force data, basically. Okay. Um, but now, they, with, the, with the advent of carbon fiber on these sails, they can make them strong enough so that they take cable load. So there's, there's a kind of a, a development of new technology where they're, uh, where they're, uh, just having cable with sails. So it's an integrated part of the sail instead of yeah, so you a separate the sail. Cable, like that cable there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you lose 50 or 100 pounds. Yeah, and it's so And you don't have a nice close tag. But our, our parents always so far forward. Okay, can you hold there, guys, for a second? We'll just plug in the front. I honestly think these guys are some of the luckiest sailors in the world. And I would love to buy them a beer one day and get some stories out of them. Most sailors would never get the opportunity to sail on a boat like this and as a sailor for most of my life I'm just grateful for the opportunity to even be here while they're preparing a boat like this for a race like the CA500. So I was wandering the docks in Sausalito at about 11 o'clock on Thursday morning when I found the Argo preparing and that made it only about two hours before they started the race to San Diego. So these guys were in full race preparation mode and as you can see, they're checking and rechecking every single item on the boat before they head out. Uh, hold there. Hold there. Yep. Hello, What's your role on board? Uh, I'm alive. Happy. Okay. Uh, I would say um, I'm in charge of the uh, starboard so pit. The next thing we'll okay. do is double check the Jenniker. He's kind of the bowman boat captain. Um, um, Chad here is our project manager. How many crew on deck during a watch? We've got eight people on board with two floating, the owner and the navigator. So, um, be three. Okay. Are you ready for How do you score this gig? What's that? How do you score this gig? Uh, the owner's had a number of boats, and so, um... Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna double check everything, and then put it back okay. in the bag. We sold those, moved on, sold those, moved on, you know. Bigger and better races to win, though. Yeah. Uh, How do you think you'll go in this race? I don't know. The other teams are uh, good. Pretty serious, huh? Yeah. 
And uh, so I thought I'd come over and see where you guys are hanging out. Yeah. We have a Facebook group called Argo Racing. So here's a look at the Argo as they're preparing for the race. This is a few minutes before the start of the race and they're racing out under the Golden Gate Bridge, possibly checking gear, most likely to have a look and see what the weather is actually like once you get out past the gap. Now, as I'm editing this video this morning, I've checked online and the results are in. They're just in for the uh, CA500 and Peter Cunningham's power play has actually won the race. Um, corrected time is 49 hours, 18 minutes and 36 seconds. Um, second place was Jason Carroll's Argo. Um, they came in corrected time 51 hours, 58 minutes and 34 seconds. That's uh, 2 hours and 39 minutes, 58 seconds after the power play and Maserati of course had a bit of a problem they hit a couple of objects on the way down the course and they damaged I believe their starboard rudder um, but they did finish and they were 14 hours and three three minutes 13 seconds behind so all of the races the MOD 70s completed the CA 500 for 2019 congratulations to all the crews so here's the start of the race and as you can see power play is storming down the course just a little ahead of Argo and then followed up by Maserati who didn't get a particularly good start and as it turns out they didn't have a great race I hope the damage to the boat wasn't too significant so here goes power play under the Golden Gate Bridge and it's a wonderful day to be out sailing but not a great day to be standing on the bridge without a jacket so watching Argo come down towards the Golden Gate Bridge at the start of the CA500, I'd like once again to thank Jason Carroll for inviting me on board the Argo to have a look around while they prepare for today's race. And if you've watched this video for this far, you've obviously been enjoying it, so please leave a comment. I do try to comment back and reply to everybody who takes the time. Uh, I do appreciate new subscribers, so please push that button. I'm going to try to get down to the docks more often and find more interesting boats that I can get invited on and show you guys around. So if you like this, let me know. Check out my Matthew Turner video. She's a tall ship being launched Monday night at midnight. So anyway, that's about it. As we see the Maserati go under the Golden Gate Bridge as well, that'll be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe. You'll catch up with more random sailing videos and the rest of my travels.